Go to the Tools panel and select the Tear Tool. Create the tear shape. Its vector design can be any size. Rotate it to that position. Then go to the Swatches panel and select a gradient, any of the gradients. You can also go to the Gradient tool and modify the gradient. And also go up to the top left and tweak the gradient in more ways. Then go to the Layers panel and down to the bottom and click Effects. Select 3D, put the radius to about 30. Then go to Outer Shadow at the top, click that, and set the radius to about the middle settings. And then close that panel. Then go to File and Export, and just save it to PNG. Go to the area and Selection Only, select that one, and Save. Save it as a PNG file, and there you have it. PNG file has been saved. Now, you need the Brushes panel. The Brushes panel will use that PNG file. So right side menu and New Textured Image Brush. Select that file you just created and open. And you can see it now in the panel. Go to the Vector Brush tool, open the Tools panel and apply. And you can apply it multiple times. But you also go to the Brushes panel, double click it, that entry. And you can see now you've got a load of settings. You can change the brush width. You can also modify the actual brush itself. You can change those settings for the head and tail. So you can create a different shapes. Very subtle changes. But you, instead of stretch, you can go for repeat. And that I think creates a more interesting design. And click close. So that's using repeat now. So as you apply it, you'll notice what happens. You generate multiple copies as you apply your stroke. You can also resize it. So once you've applied the width to say 32, just go around and you can see now you've got smaller teardrops. You can also go to the node tool and you can select the individual nodes for that brush stroke. And you can then tweak it, just drag it around. And as you do that, you will see the tears change. The sizes won't change, but you'll get more or less as you move it around. You can also double click it again and you can change the brush width you can make it very, very tiny or not. Select the design with the move tool. And you can then go up to the stroke in the top left and you can change the color, tint it. So you can select say blue or green or purple and you will see it's tinted blue or red or pink. If you want to return it, just go to the top right and you can see at the moment there's just that little slash, very tiny little there, just click that and that will return it back to the original colors. And then you can continue to tint if you wish. But you can also go to the gradient panel at the side, click that, and then you can set up a gradient. Unfortunately, you can't use the swatches. It'd be really nice if you could, but as soon as you select it, it actually just uses the fill instead. So you can just set it just by adding stops to the stroke. And of course, if you go over to the brushes and double click that and change it from the stretch and repeat, you can go backwards and forwards and you can see again, you've got your gradient there.